Hey, how's it going everybody? I hope you're having a great day and you had a great first day of Leagues. If you don't know, Leagues is a limited time game mode that Jagex puts on every once in a while, and you'll basically be getting different power-ups that will basically just break the game and make you insanely overpowered, like this Trickster Relic. You can automatically re-pickpocket your targets, you get double loot, increased coin pouches, you get Sage's Griefs, you get agility experience just for existing and running. Box traps uh, lure creatures faster, their loot's doubled, you can't break your impling jars, and you can burn up to nine logs simultaneously. You can't fail any of those actions. And there's also a bunch of other uh, relics as well. This is another one I was thinking about going with, Production Prodigy. Uh, it basically just instantly processes any of the crafting, smithing, herbal or fletching things that you're doing, and you get full experience for everything processed, and there's a chance that you get an extra product that gives you experience as well, and it boosts all of those stats by 12. Let's get into it, and I'm taking Trickster. Go into the settings menu and type in level, and then you can check the first box there. So you can disable anything that is going to cancel your action while you're leveling and get your levels a little bit faster. All right, first thing we're going to do is dance in a graveyard. That's going to be a task for 10 points. And we're going to go down into Death's Domain. That's going to be another task for 10 points. And while you're in here, you don't actually have to go through all the dialogue with him. Once you get the pop-up, you can just click on the portal and you'll be able to run out of his room. All right, next thing I did was go and mine some copper ore for 10 points. And it was also a first level up for another 10 points. I then went and got some silver ore. That way I can make a bronze bar for another 10 points later. Now we're going to run over and fish up some food just in case there's not enough people in the stronghold and I get smacked around. All right, that's going to be 10 points for cooking some shrimp. and another 10 points for burning some food. And that's also gonna be 10 points for successfully cooking five pieces of food. All right, so that is another 10 points for smelting a bronze bar. Now we're gonna to talk to Count Check and get teleported to the Stronghold of Security. And then if you're on the top floor here, uh, you can either wait for somebody to run through or just try to have a ghost end up attacking you. They do less damage. All right, and that is gonna be 10 points for equipping some boots from the last chest. Check out this teleport animation. It's actually really cool. Nice job. All right, now we're on Brimhaven. So we are going to go run up to the charter ship and buy some stuff. All right, so I'm going to get a knife and some stuff for molten glass. And that's going to be 10 points for buying something from the trade crew members. I'm also going to pick up some other tools I'm going to need as well. And oddly enough, I forgot to get a glass blowing pipe, even though I bought stuff to make molten glass fun. All right, now we are taking the cart over to Shiloh Village. What you can do is if you right-click the cart and do board cart, you will only have to pay 18 coins to go across instead of the 200. Now we're going to come into the general store and we are going to buy ourselves an axe and a torch. Now we're going to light the torch and that is going to be a task for 10 points. Then we're going to come and beg Duradel for a task since all the Slayer Masters are accessible regardless of your combat level in leagues. That's going to be 10 points for getting a task from Duradel. Uh, it's also 10 points for receiving a task. And then we're going to open up his shop, buy a spiny helmet. We're going to need that once we have five defense later. Now we're just going to head back to the bank real quick. And on the way there, we're going to check our crystal for a slayer task. And that's going to be another 10 points. 
now we're just gonna teleport back to Karamja and come and pick a pineapple here for another 10 points. And then we're gonna cast the home teleport for another 10 points. Pickpocket a citizen, that is going to be another 10 points. And then we're just gonna stay here and get 28 pouches and 15 thieving. For another task for 10 points. Then we're gonna go defeat a goblin for 10 points. I got a count check, but I don't have a bank pin yet. That's gonna be burying some bones for 10 points. Equipping a spiny helmet for 10 points. And reaching total level 100 for 10 points. We're gonna come over to Bob's axes and buy a steel axe. I'm gonna need that for a task later. And then we're gonna run over to the chicken coop and grab an egg out of here since killing them is nearly impossible with how many people are around. And we're gonna run over here to the farmer and buy a rake going through his dialogue. And that's gonna be another 10 points. And this is gonna be one of the potato trees for the achievement, but it's an oak. All right, now we're gonna make some flour. You also wanna make sure that you cry in the wheat field while you uh, pick your wheat. And this is the other potato tree. It's a lot lower of a level. We're gonna take that down for 10 points for chopping some logs and another 10 points for chopping a log from a potato tree. Now we're gonna get 10 points for completing a single lap of the rooftop agility course and get a collection log slot for a mark of grace on the first lap. That's 10 points for completing the drainer course. 1k C mark of grace there. And then there's another 10 points for obtaining the mark of grace. And if you didn't know, you're actually able to move your leagues menu around. You can drag it around the screen and resize it and it will remember. You can also interact with the game while it's up, so that's actually pretty cool. That's going to be 10 laps of the Draenor Agility course for 40 points. Now we just caught a herring for 10 points. Caught an anchovy for another 10 points. Used a cooked herring on a tree for 10 points for whatever reason. And we're gonna come over here and get a task from the wise old man. And you wanna be careful when you're doing this. If you happen to have one of the items he's asking for when you get the task, he's going to take it from your inventory. All right, we just went back to Lumbridge to get another ax I could cut logs with and get all of the axes for that task. Kind of just wood cutting my way back over to Draenor Village and we picked up 10 points for chopping some logs with the steel ax. We got a task here for burning some regular logs and got enough points to get tier two relic. And that's also gonna be a task for burning some oak logs for 10 points. And I came down here to the ham hideout to get a steel pickaxe. On my way back to the wise old man to turn in that and get 40 points for completing a task for the wise old man. All right, and that starts poor sign of interest. Now let's go down to the wizard tower. And that's gonna be 10 points for fletching some arrow shafts on, on the way there. Then we're gonna go ahead and start rune mysteries while we're here. And then we headed over to Draenor Manor. Entering the manor is gonna be 10 points. Getting followed by a chair in the manor is going to be another 10 points. Then we went over and stole from the tea stall in Varrock for another 10 points. We had Elsie tell us a story with the tea that we stole. Thanks, Elsie. Then we went and bought a house for 10 points. And grabbed a saw while we're here. I didn't talk to Marlo. Don't ask me. Now we're going to come down here and start Gertrude's cat and pick up a dougal leaf while we're here. Then I've also been looking for the stray dog in Varrock, so... I can pet it and get the task and then give it the bones and get the achievement diary done. And it looks like there's the dog. All right, let's give it a good pet for 10 points. 
and give it a bone. And then we're gonna head over to the lumber mill, chop down that dead tree, get the achievement diary done, turn some logs into planks for 10 points, start and finish daddy's home, get scared from a disconnect while the servers are going crazy, work on Gertrude's cat, and head over to Fossil Island from the barge, which is gonna give us 10 points. Then we can go over here and pet the museum camp dog. For another 10 points. Now we're going to achieve our first level 40 for 40 points, thanks to the Sage's Greaves just giving us passive agility. We're going to enter Xanaris and use a Fairy Ring for 10 points. And now I've got my tier 2 relic choice. I'm going with Fairy's Flight since it gives you not only the Fairy Rings, Spirit Trees, but also the tool Leprechauns to be able to teleport to. With Globetrotter, you basically just get everything normally. You eventually end up getting the jewelry for it, and you can't really get those tool Leprechaun teleports without it. And then we're going to head down here and catch some Karambwanji for 10 points and kind of just get a nice little stack for a cat. And we're going to finish up Rune Mysteries for 40 points and teleport to the Rune Essence Mine for another 10 points. Mining Essence is an task. And now we're leaving the Wizard's Tower. We can locate with the Air Talisman for another 10 points. Back over on Karamja, we are going to head into our player-owned house. That's going to give us 10 points. And now we're going to enter build mode and build our first room. Parlor's cheap, even though there's already one in there. That's going to give us another 10 points. Completing Gertrude's cat gave us another 10 points. And our cat that we've got all those Karambwanji for now. Now we're going to head back over to Brimhaven and go into the Brimhaven dungeon for another 10 points. Now we have enough points to unlock our second region. I am choosing the desert, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And that is going to complete a couple tasks for us, actually. we got Romeo and Juliet completed for 10 points, and then Below Ice Mountain and the Lost Tribe quest completed for 40 points apiece from unlocking the desert. Now we're just over on the banana plantation. We're going to collect our 10 bananas for that task. We're going to come over here and talk to this guy and get a job from him, you know, because we need work. There's your bananas. Thank you. 40 points. And I decided to do something really inefficient. Uh, I don't really want to talk about it. All right, so now we are over here mining. We are trying to get 10 tin ore for 10 points. All right, and we completed our first clue, and the reward for that is garbage. All right, that's going to be sheep shearer for 10 points. Now I am just trying to level up my thieving a little bit, but that is going to get us up to level 40 thieving. Pick a bunch of red berries because we're going to need a bunch for dyes and eventually knight sword. That's going to be 10 points for completing the Varrock agility course. And another 40 points for completing 10 laps of the Varrock agility course. Now we're going to smith a bronze full helm for 10 points. And then we're going to smith a bronze plate skirt for 10 points. We're going to equip some steel armor for 10 points. Just got a helmet from Barbarian Village. And that is mining 15 coal for 10 points. And that is Mistle and Mystery completed. And that is going to be a task for fletching a thousand arrow shafts completed. And that is going to be enough points to be able to unlock our tier three relic. And that's fletching 25 oak stocks completed for a total of 10 points. That is gonna be completing one slayer task for 10 points. On the northwest side of the Isle of Souls, we got a bird snare. And the southwest side of the Isle of Souls, we're snaring a bird. That's going to be 10 points for snaring a bird. Back over in Varrock, we are fletching 150 iron arrow tips for 10 points. Now we're over in Lumbridge, fletching 150 iron arrows for 10 points. Abyssal area, came out here to get a water talisman. Got that on the second kill, pretty nice. And I actually just teleported back to the last destination to deaggro it from me, and then off to Xanaris. And that's going to be crafting any rune for 10 points, equipping my elemental battle staff I bought earlier for 10 points, and this is going to be fire sale unlocked. Banker's Note is also a good choice. I just don't really think I'm going to need to be bringing in a bunch of noted potions and items since last recall is going to be unlimited at 1800 total. I'm just getting a bunch of arrows and a maple short bow. That way I can equip the bow for a task when I get to level 30, and I've got some ammo. And with the help of fire sale, I got myself 710,000 chaos runes, and I just picked up just short of 8,000 deaths 
Seth runes. It's nice when everything's free. All right, so we're just gonna head over to Aggie and make a bunch of dyes. It's actually a lot faster and you don't have to go through the dialogue if you just use the ingredients on her instead of talking to her. We're gonna insult Aggie for 10 points. Be careful, she takes stuff out of your inventory when you do this, so you could lose something that you were saving for a quest. Now we're just gonna run over here to Ned and that's gonna be having Ned make you some rope for 10 points. All right, for Vampire Slayer, there's actually this nice walk under trick to get him safe spotted. Just pull him down there, walk under him and get him to walk back into that corner. Step around off to the side here and just relax. All right, and that's Vampire Slayer completed for 10 points, and that's gonna get us up to level 40 attack. Finally made it out to the Enchanted Valley to pick myself up a rune axe. I was lucky enough to be able to grab one on KC number 11. All right, now we're getting spooned our dig side amulet teleport, and we also need to collect 50 kudos so we can get some mining experience. We're just gonna talk to the information clerk over here for a nice 8,000 mining experience. You need 50 kudos to get that. And now we're gonna complete the Natural History Museum quiz, and that's gonna get us 10 points, and it's going to bring our Slayer and Hunter levels up to 25. Just paid the Master Farmer a visit and stole a bunch of seeds for birdhouse runs and beginning farming. All right, now I've got myself a bunch of Tokel. Now we're gonna head over to the Gem Trader here and buy ourselves an Uncut Onyx. And that's going to be a task for 200 points. And there's also a task for equipping a bunch of the Czar equipment, but I don't have the strength level. All right, so now we're stocked up on rune and dragonhide armor. And then we headed over to Oziak and got ourselves some more rune and dragonhide armor and a bunch of Alks for later. It's all free. All right, so that is going to be the bone crossbow. And why not? 35,000 uh, bone bolts. Heading back over to the player owned house on Karamja to train some construction really quick and got first level 60 for 80 points. And that's all just Sage's Greaves. All right, and then we're going to give a stew to the Draenor guard who's hiding in this tree here for 10 points. Then we're going to just use this agility shortcut since Sage's Greaves are kind of just OP. And that's going to be 10 points for getting a task from Vinaka. That's going to be some cow fight. I'm going to do that later. And while we're here, we may as well just safe spot a moss giant. And that's going to be 10 points for defeating a moss giant. Back over in Draenor Manor, we've got Ernest the Chicken done for some quest points. And I just finished getting 50 fire making. Now we're going to be set for Winter Todd whenever we unlock Zaya. Alright, so this is going to be Demon Slayer completed for 40 points. Alright, and this is going to be our tier 3 relic, which I'm just remembering I have. We're going to go with Archer's Embrace, and that's going to help us out a lot in the boss fight at the end of this quest. And the passive effects from this tier, we're going to have three times drop rate. Superior Slayer Monsters is going to be unlocked for free. If you already purchased it before this point, you get refunded the points. Slayer points are going to be five times from tasks, and you basically just get points from task number one. And superior rates are going to be increased to a one out of 50. And that's going to be Souls Bane completed for 40 points and a bunch of experience. And I'm over here killing Hobgoblins to try to get a spear for the Taibo Wanai Trio quest. I got a bronze spear, but I'm hoping to upgrade it before I leave here. And that's a steel spear, so that is exactly what I wanted. Let's go. All right, and that's going to be a Toad Flax from three tickets at the Brimhaven Agility Arena. I need that for an agility potion once I get my level up. But just in case, I'm going to get a Grammy Earret as a drop here on the Isle of Souls in the Crumbling Tower. That way, if I get a Dr. Jekyll, I'll be set. That's going to be 10 points from tanning a cowhide and another 10 points from crafting a leather body. Out here at the Agility Pyramid, going to turn in a Pyramid Head for 40 points, 10k, and I'm going to do that a couple more times because I need some money. Fire Sale doesn't fix it everything. For example, I needed 200 coins to pay to get my herb cleaned here. That way when the jackal comes, I can use it. That's going to be 10 points for cutting a cactus on my way out of Narda. And that's going to be another 10 points from riding from Holovich to Sofanum. All right, now we're going to make some clockwork so we can actually get some birdhouse runs going here. All right, and now we got our first birdhouses down. Let's head over and do some more quests. I made a quick stop at the Alcrid agility course here. Got myself 10 points. All right, that's Prince Ali rescue completed. Came down here to get Clue Hunter for Winter Todd later. All right, and that is going to be 10 points for completing the golem. That's going to be 40 points for equipping a full set of green dragon hide, and I can unlock a new area now. That is another 40 points for completing Shadow of the Storm, and another 40 points for reaching 750 total. 40 points for completing Sleeping Giants, and I managed to get my smithing level up to level 61 while I was here. I'm planning on getting some runite limbs from the archaeologist on Fossil Island pretty soon, so I am probably going to need to be making some bolts before I can get to some Slayer monsters that are going to end up dropping them for me. 
All right, and that's that. With the help of Fire Sail, I went ahead and got all of the runes I'm going to need for the Mage Training Arena. This is our first tiers of Guthics, and that's going straight on to farming. 40 points for the task and 21 levels. You get to skip a lot of the early farming stuff, so that's nice. All right, and that is Spirits of a Lid completed. 45 prayer. Okay, cool. So I got overheads now. Perfect. And that is going to be 80 points for achieving my first level 70. Hell yeah. Alright, so that is about three hours later, and we finally get the Pharaoh Scepter. Alright, and that is where we're going to call it a day. It was a 25 hour long grind stay on the first day of leagues. Ended up getting 78 thieving, shooting for 80, and also passively got 70 agility just from the Sage's Greaves, so that's kind of cool. We've got a new area we can unlock, and I don't really know what to do. I'm kind of torn between Asgarnia and Zaya, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do, but it's definitely going to be kind of a battle between the two of those. And as far as relics go, we got ourselves Trickster, Fairy's Flight, Fire Sail, and Archer's Embrace. And we are probably going to be taking Treasure Seeker once I get the next tier unlocked. And sorry this video took so long to put out, I kind of didn't realize I had a 10 hour recording and I had to go through 10 hours of footage to put this video together. Kind of going to change up how I'm doing things next time and just record some clips and throw everything together. I also figured out how to not have my webcam on the recording so you won't have to just look at this uh, big route thing on there. And we're just going to be working on going towards the first big goal of the account and trying to get a fire cape. And we're probably just going to be trying to work on some of our other skills. That way we are going to be getting ready for the God Wars dungeon as well. If you did enjoy this video, feel free to hit that sub button. It's free. It'll help the channel grow. And it would mean a lot to me if you guys would. And with that, I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm hoping I'll be able to get online and stream again. But staring at this giant file of a 10 hour recording, I may not end up streaming tomorrow, but I will definitely be live the day after. And I'm going to be trying to get some footage for a day two video as well which it may end up being a lot shorter than this one just because of how long editing this is going to take. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.